today I'm in Richardson, Texas. It was cloudy and overcast. However, I decided to bring the sun out for all my YouTube family and friends. Richardson is located in between Dallas and Plano and has a population of around 130,000, I believe. It's a great city for young professionals and families alike to call home. It offers plenty of restaurants, coffee shops and bars and shopping as well. You also have great parks and recreation right here within the city limits. So there's plenty of entertainment options and things to do right here in Richardson, Texas. And aside from that, this city also has rich culture diversity, which many people love. According to livability.com, Richardson was rated number 41 out of the top 100 cities to live in in 2020. And today we will discuss the pros and cons of living in Richardson, Texas and discover why so many people love to call Richardson home. So stay tuned. My name is Richard Soto, a local real estate broker with VIP Realty right here in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button as we do weekly videos talking all about living, working, and playing right here in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Today we're in Richardson and we're going to discuss the pros and cons of living right here in this wonderful North Dallas city. So let's start with the pros and there's plenty of pros. And as we already know, no city's perfect, so we're absolutely going to cover the cons as well. But starting with the pros, and number one is going to be affordable housing. The median home cost in Richardson is about 367000 Home appreciation the last 10 years has been 6.2%. This is a great moderate price point if you're trying to purchase a home in this neighborhood. Most of the homes in Richardson are older, built in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. However, there is some moderate new construction. Popular neighborhoods include Lake Highlands, Northeast Dallas, Far North Dallas, Canyon Creek, and North Garland. Let's jump in the car and go for a short ride and take a look at some of these popular neighborhoods. In regards to housing, we're going to view a couple of different neighborhoods just so you get an idea of the type of real estate options that are available right here in Richardson. So let's go for a ride and take a look. driven around Richardson, went through numerous neighborhoods. I found the unicorn right behind me. Actually, I found about five or six. As I stated earlier, most of the homes are going to be built in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Very rarely are you able to see new construction right here in Richardson unless you tear down a house, most likely, or if you happen to find a lot. So new construction in Richardson is going to be in high demand. And if you're able to find you a lot, you're a lucky individual. Moving on to the second pro of living right here in Richardson, and that's going to be job opportunities. So if you need a new job, if you're looking for a job, if you're trying to scale your career, 
Richardson is going to be the place to be. Richardson is the home of the telecom corridor. This means that many of the world's leading networking and telecommunication companies are based in the city of Richardson, including Samsung, Texas Instruments, ZTE, AT&T, Verizon, and many others. Job growth in Richardson has been positive. According to bestplaces.net, jobs have increased by 3.3% over the past year. The average salary here in Richardson is around $86,000. Moving on to the next pro of living right here in Richardson, and that's going to be public transportation. Typically, on all my previous videos, especially of the suburbs of Dallas, Texas, public transportation is usually a con because it's non-existent. However, right here in Richardson, Texas, you're going to have access to the DART. The Dallas Area Rapid Transit DART system, which operates within Richardson, so you'll be able to get around using its bus, light rail, and commuter rail service. There are several DART rail stations located in the area. The city is also known to be very bike friendly with bike specific lanes you can use to get around town. Please stand back. Moving on to location. Richardson is centrally located. Whether you're commuting from Dallas or wanting to visit neighboring cities, it is easy to get back and forth. Richardson is located close to two major highways, the President George Turnpike and US-75. It is not that far from the DFW airport, only about 20 miles away. So if you like to vacation or you have to go out of town for business, it's going to be an easy drive to the DFW International Airport. Also, Fort Worth is only about 40 miles away. I prefer it to be a little bit closer to get into Terry County. However, it's still very manageable. Moving on to our final pro, but definitely not the least, and that's going to be things to do. Richardson is known for having numerous outdoor parks. As you can see right behind me, this is going to be a typical park right here in Richardson. So if you love the outdoors, Richardson is going to be a great place to call home. There are plenty of outdoor attractions and parks in Richardson, Texas. For instance, Conwood Park, a gorgeous green space with a pond, playground, and walking and jogging paths. Another popular area is Prairie Creek Park and its ultimate attraction, the Prairie Creek Waterfall. If you need to cool off, head to the Heights Family Aquatic Center. The Charles Eisman Center for the Performing Arts is a top attraction featuring all types of performances from comedy to concerts to Broadway productions. You'll also enjoy the Alamo Draft Cinema, a bar and movie theater combo showing all the latest flicks. If you watch my videos, you know I'm a huge movie buff and nothing beats being able to go to the movies, have your food brought in and enjoy yourself a nice margarita while you enjoy a great action flick. If you reside here near City Line and you're a pet lover or you have a pet, you will have access to this massive outdoor park for dogs, which is huge. I haven't seen anything this big. I don't know, five, six football fields at least. The one in my neighborhood is very small. However, another advantage of living right here in Richardson in the City Line area. Staying on the topic of things to do, I'm right here at City Line. It's a mixed-use development that offers shopping, entertainment, restaurants, bar. Its multifamily housing is nearby as well. You can also live, work, and play right here within the community. There's office buildings nearby, so you can actually have a great weekend. You don't even have to Uber home. You can just walk across the street into your apartment dwelling as well as work right here as well. Since we're here, it's about that time. Before we go into the cons of living in Richardson, we're gonna grab ourselves something to eat and there's numerous options right here at City Line. So I'm gonna flip a coin. I do see a Mexican restaurant, which obviously I'm tempted to go there, but we might try something different today. So stay tuned. Just wrapped up lunch. It was absolutely delicious. The margaritas were great. The street tacos were amazing as well. I even had a little bit of dessert, had myself a sopa pia, which was great as well. 
quite frankly, I don't want to leave. I want to enjoy the rest of the day right here. However, we haven't covered the cons of living in Richardson. So before I have a little bit too much of a good time, I'm going to wrap up lunch and we'll cover the cons of living right here in Richardson. Okay, let's transition over to the cons of living right here in Richardson. Originally, it wasn't on my list. However, as I've been driving throughout Richardson and checking out the different neighborhoods to see the different type of housing that is being offered here in Richardson, I've noticed one thing and it's been glaring and that is the road conditions. They are horrible. Not every neighborhood. Now, we just left a very nice neighborhood. Roads were exceptional. However, I'd say that, I don't want to say majority, at least half of the neighborhoods that I went to, the roads were absolutely terrible. I'm not sure why there's so many potholes. A lot of times the roads were uneven and seemed to be crooked. As I was trying to film the houses, you're probably going to see a lot of shaking involved most likely. But con number one is going to be road conditions. Moving on to the next con, and that's going to be crime. According to crimegrade.org, Richardson is going to receive a C. Richardson is in the 45th percentile of all major cities, meaning that 55% of cities throughout the country are safer than Richardson. Obviously, that's not a good grade, but to be quite honest with you, every time I'm in Richardson, whatever area I'm in, I feel safe, I feel secure, I don't feel like there's an issue. However, based on the stats, Richardson is going to have an issue in regards to crime. Okay, moving on to the next con, and that's going to be public education. As you already know, I'm all about public education because I refuse to pay for private school for my boys. Here in Richardson, it is ranked 310 out of 1,199 schools right here in the state of Texas. And quite frankly, that's just not going to cut it. Based off of combined math and reading proficient testing data, the school district's graduation rate is 98%. And if we compare that to, let's say, Capel ISD, where I used to live, which is ranked 98%, to me, there is no comparison. So that's a huge difference just in comparison, say, from Capel or, say, Highland Park, even Frisco and Plano ISDs, Lucas is going to be much better than the Richardson ISD. So if you have children, not that it's the worst ISD in the state, however, it's definitely not the best. So it's just something to consider if you're planning on relocating right here to the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Okay, let's move on to the last con of living right here in Richardson. For you, it might not be a con, but for me, it is an absolute con, and that's going to be the lack of new construction. As we were at a couple of communities earlier today, there's a couple of lots that I've seen out of hundreds of homes that were teardowns where you can build a new home. But as a general rule, right here in Richardson, you're not going to be able to have the access to new construction as you would in Frisco, Plano, and other parts of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. So if purchasing or building a new home is important to you, it's probably going to be a major issue right here in Richardson. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I absolutely love making them for you. If you have any ideas or suggestions on topics, please let me know in the comments and we'll be happy to make those videos for you. I actually made this video specifically for one of our subscribers who requested Richardson and Garland and Garland is absolutely on the list as well. We'll be producing that soon. So please let us know. And if you're thinking about relocating to the Lone Star State right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex or anywhere throughout the state of Texas, my team and I would love to assist you with your next real estate transaction. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.